Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ashley and I'm a six figure reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today we're gonna to be talking about three different ways you can liquidate your inventory. I am definitely in the process of liquidating some inventory, especially ever since I moved into my apartment again, I'm trying to downsize. So I'm trying to liquidate my stuff at like a kind of normal rate. I'm not like pushing it too hard, but you can if you want to. Um, but these are a couple of things that I've been doing or I've done in the past and I found that they really help with liquidating inventory. Of course, there are a couple more ways you can get rid of your items beyond this, but these are just three of my favorite ways that I like to do in order to get rid of stale inventory or inventory that's just like not serving me anymore. Mostly if it's like old or like not the type of items I like to see in my closet anymore. So the first way is the one that I do the most and that is sending out bigger offer to likers on Poshmark than I usually do. So I send out offers every single day between like 10 and 20, sometimes 30% on the items that are stale. And then on Fridays, I will go ahead and send out bigger discounts. I've actually been thinking about doing it even bigger on like the first of the month. So sending out bigger offers on Fridays. So I'll send out between like around 30% on everything, 30, 40%. And then on the first of the month, so the time, it's either like the first Friday of the month or the last Friday of the month. I feel like that's when a lot of people get paid. I don't know, it always just depends. There's a lot of different pay periods. Maybe look it up. I kind of just do whatever kind of works best on the candle that's closest to the first of the month. So around that time, I'll send out even deeper discounts of like 50 to 60 or just like what I wanna make my money back on the items that are super duper sale. And then all the other items that are not sale, I'll just do that like 30% again. So this makes sure that that people know my like lowest offer they're getting at the lowest all the likers and if they don't accept it then they never will and then I can kind of go into relisting the item but you don't really know what people are going to take until you put it out there so that is why I have that schedule in there to get rid of some of that sale inventory um, if you have like your whole closet sale or something you can definitely go ahead and just send out an offer of like a super low amount on your entire closet on that day of the week again i still do mine one by one on this type of day because it does vary so much on the item because i do pay such varying amounts of them but if you do like mostly go thrifting or have similar cost of goods or usually take like an average of your cost of goods or something like that then i would recommend just going ahead and using posture va to just send it on your entire closet because it can take a really long time if you just do it one by one and have a ton of items like I do. I think when I do it, it can take literally anywhere from like six hours or something like a very long time. So if you can use Posture VA, it's very helpful. I do have a discount code to that if you have not signed up to it and I'll go ahead and put that in the uh, description of the video below. Definitely recommend it. It also does sharing and a lot of other things that are really helpful. So that is the first thing they can do. Again, the thing that I do the most often. So carrying on into Poshmark type of liquidation, the second thing you can do is have a sale on your closet. I will say I don't necessarily have that much success always with sales because I have, again, such a varying degree and usually I'm not putting my whole entire closet on sale. I would say sales work a lot better if you're able to do it on your whole closet or it's really easy for buyers to see what kind of items are a part of your sale and it's like a larger chunk of your closet. Regina, basic posh babe, always has like a ton of great tips for having sales. I'll go ahead and link one of her podcast episodes about sales. I think she might have like a couple, but she always is really successful at them. And I know even sometimes she's okay with having like a loss on some items if it means that she has made money on others. So that's like your own philosophy. I definitely recommend checking that out, but just going over a few other things is you don't necessarily have to have a huge Instagram presence or social media presence to let people know about your sale. You can use the My Shoppers feature in order to let all previous customers know about what sale you're having. You can just write a comment, select all your shoppers and send them out based off likers, just people coming to your closet, things like that. And that can be a really good way to let people know. It might be a little bit spammy, but especially if you don't have like a ton of sales usually, then you should be fine. And there are a ton of different ways that you can do a sale on Poshmark. You can do a name your price sale if that's something you wanna do. I feel like that's not the best way to go just because a lot of people get very like, I don't know what to send you or I don't know. It just, there's a lot of up in the air. So if you have something a little bit more concrete, maybe it's like everything under $100 is $25 or every just everything is 50% off, everything is buy to get one free, something like that that's really set, then 
that might be a little bit easier, but that can be a really good way to liquidate a bunch of items in your closet or inventory, I guess closet, because you're really doing it on Poshmark. So my last way and recommendation for liquidating inventory goes with eBay. And similar to Poshmark, it's having a sale on eBay, but it's a little bit easier to run your own sale on eBay, especially if you don't have a social media presence. I really wish Poshmark had this type of feature, but it's a really good way to mark down your items on eBay and let buyers know that something is on sale. It's essentially just like running a sale in a store, but in your eBay store. So you go into this, I don't know the exact steps, so I'll put a little screenshot of how to get to there too. I believe it's in promotions and they have a couple different drop downs of like what kind of promotions you wanna run but I believe it is sale and markdown. And it's what that allows you to do is run a specific promotion, a sale. Usually I'll do like 50% off, let's say something like that. You're allowed to select the specific items you wanna put in that sale. It usually only does run for a certain amount of time. So like right now I, my sale is over and I do have to go back in and add those items I want or create a new sale. So I think it's like two months that a sale will run for, but what it does is it basically marks your item for sale. So people can see, let's say you had something listed at $200 and you selected it for your 50% off sale, then it will show $100 versus $200. And then people can always like scroll, scroll down into your listing and see more items that are part of that sale. They can click like view items in the sale. It's like in red or something. And then it'll open up a whole new page or tab of just the items in your sale. And I do find a lot of people shop like that and will shop that way. Whenever I start and create a sale, I will notice that I have more offer to likers to send to people. So that's how I know people are viewing it. And then you can look at your own stats from it to see what your success was with the sale, which is really cool with eBay, but I won't lie, I'm not really good about checking that. I kind of just use what I see when I'm sending out like my offers to watchers on a daily basis. So not only is this a good way to liquidate your inventory, it's also a good way just to get more attraction on eBay, which is always a really good thing. I'm one of those people, I just feel like there's so much more that goes into the eBay algorithm than Poshmark. And I feel like, like, putting your items at a promoted rate and having sales can really help boost that. So if you've never had an eBay sale before, I definitely recommend just trying it out. Again, you're able to select the type of sale you wanna have. I think you can even select a like buy two, get one free type thing or a percentage type thing or percentage off your entire order, anything like that. And you're, what I love about it is that you're able to select specific items. So it kind of doesn't take some time if you have a ton of items, but again, very much so worth it. Other ways to liquidate your inventory that I personally don't do too much on a regular basis anymore is by using the closet clear out feature on Poshmark. And also if you do thrift your items and you're wanting to liquidate it, you can always just take it to a buy, sell, trade store. I actually highly recommend if you do need to liquidate items and you have like thrifted it for under like six bucks to take it to a buy, sell, trade store because it is definitely the quickest and fastest way that you can get your money back for an item. And especially at least myself, if I'm taking a batch of clothing to the buy, sell, trade store, and you don't really know what you're getting per item. As long as you're making your money back on the whole of it, then you don't really care. So you don't even know if you lost money on items. And sometimes even if let's say we're having a sale and I made a little bit of money, but lost money on some items, I just get so worked up over that. I don't know why. So at least for the buy, sell, trade store, they, you don't even know that. So I highly recommend that. I wish I had more of the option to do that, but I just pay way too much for my inventory in, to be able to do that. So that's like the last thing and probably the best thing, but I just don't get to use it on a regular basis. So hopefully that helps. Liquidating your inventory is so important if you are trying to change up the type of items you're selling in your closet, if you wanna change up the target audience that you're trying to build on eBay or Poshmark. It definitely makes a difference when you are changing up your closet and you want more of a larger bulk of it to be similar versus you know making it all like lower price items and that's the type of buyer you're attracting. So that's why it's really huge. Also really important to keep that turnover up. That's definitely been a huge keyword of mine for 2023 for my business is turnover. I'm trying to increase my turnover because a huge part of it is, and I know it's really hard to think about, especially if you're newer, but I've come to a point in my business where I can find items to sell really easily. It's not as much of a scarcity anymore and so, because of that, it's like, okay, let's turn over the items, sell it and move on to the next because you know you can get it more and you don't want anything else like space or money to hold you back. And although I had those other things before, just like 
not worth it. So liquidating is very important, huge in my mind. If you have any questions about liquidating or anything about what I just mentioned today, you can always reach out to me on Instagram at Reapcock Collection or just feel free to leave a comment on this video below. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. When I put out videos, I put them out every, not every Wednesday, I put them out on Wednesday when I can. I used to do it every Wednesday, but I'm kind of just putting them out when I can, but they should still be fairly consistent in terms of a monthly basis. So make sure you're subscribed if you have any recommendations for videos. I always take recommendations on either Instagram or here. But again, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.